now we will be beginning with the closing ceremony of the moot court competition that lasted about three days. Thank you all for staying with us until the very end. And we're now here at the valedictory ceremony where we recognize your efforts uh, and we talk about how much we, we look at how much work you all put in so far to reach this particular position. So firstly, I am Jan V. Y. I'm a third year law student here at Nalsa University of Law. And I will now begin with introducing our panel of guests here today for the valedictory ceremony. So I will first begin by introducing Mr. Mohan Rao Nanki. He is presently working as a director of economics in the combination division of the Competition Commission of India. He has over 17 years of work experience, including eight plus years in the Competition of Commission of India itself. Prior to joining CCI in 2014, he has worked for nine years as an econometrician and advanced analyst consultant in the United States of America for five years. And he has also worked in multiple places in India. He has a bachelor's degree in electrical and electronics engineering and a master's in economics and an LLB from the University of Delhi. Next, we move on to Mr. Anuj Verma. We move on to Mr. Anuj Verma, who is also from the Competition Commission of India. Mr. Anuj Verma is a deputy director of the and a financial analyst with the commission. He has over 12 plus years of working experience and 10 years of working in government public sector undertakings and regulatory bodies. He's a qualified cost and management accountant and holds a degree in the Masters of Commerce. He also holds a law degree. Currently, Mr. Anuj Verma is working in the combination division of the commission, which deals with the regulation of combinations, that is mergers and acquisitions under provisions of the Competition Act 2002. During his tenure in the combination division, he has been the team member of various combination cases relating sectors such as agrochemicals, steel, iron, private equity, and many more. Next on the panel, next on the panel, we have Ms. Rama Bijapurkar. She is a researcher, an academic, an independent director on, ver on several Indian blue chip boards. Ms. Ms. Rama is a recognized thought leader on market strategy and consumer behavior, as well as a keen commenter on social and cultural change in India. Rama, Ms. Rama's core area of work is around bringing market focus and customer insight to business strategy and public policy through her research and through her writing, her teaching and her work on various boards across the country. She has spent over two decades teaching MBA students and offering executive education programs at the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. She's also one of the most experienced independent directors, having served on the boards of several of India's blue chip companies. So some of the present boards that she is on include Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited, Cummins India, Apollo Hospitals Enterprises, and Sun Pharma. She is also the current member of the General Council of our university as well. Next, we have Mr. Dilip Uke. Professor Dr. Dilip Uke is the Vice Chancellor of the Maharashtra National Law University, Mumbai. And before joining MNLU Mumbai, he has served as the Pro Vice Chancellor and briefly as the, as the Acting Vice Chancellor of, of SRTM University. He is also a professor and head of the department at Department of Law, Pune University. He has also served on national bodies like the UGC, NAC, UPSC, State Public Service Commission, etc. He was appointed as a visiting research fellow by New South Wales University, Sydney, Australia, and also awarded the UGC fellowship to visit France. As an invited speaker, he has spoken at numerous international conferences, including the International Conference held on Human Rights, International Conference on Human Rights at New South Wales University, Sydney, and the International Conference jointly organized by Vienna University, Australia, and the City University of Hong Kong. Sorry. 
And lastly, we have our chief guest. Our chief guest is Justice Naveen Rao from the uh, High Court of Telangana. Justice Naveen Rao was, uh, is from an agricultural family from uh, Hyderabad, from the state of Andhra Pradesh. And he has done his graduation from Nizam College in Hyderabad and obtained a law college law degree from the University of Delhi in the year 1986. He has enrolled as an advocate in the year 1986 and elevated as an additional judge from the high, of the High Court of Andhra Pradesh in 2013. He was appointed as a permanent judge on 12th April 20, a permanent judge of the High Court at Hyderabad, the state of Telangana and state of Andhra Pradesh on 8th September 2014. Some of his path-breaking judgments include Ramesh Chinnamaneni versus Union of India and others, Tumala Narsimharadi and others versus State of Telangana, and many more public interest litigations from the High Court of Telangana itself. Now we call upon our chief guest, Justice Naveen Rao, to give a brief address to the participants and our guests present here. Good afternoon to all. <clears throat> I'm, I'm here in the last month, I believe. It's the second time I'm here again for the same kind of awarding, granting uh, certificates to the winners. Now, these competitions are held in the newly formed law colleges all along. When we studied, there were no such competitions. For the first time when we were studying in Delhi University, the moot court system was introduced. We were all hesitating even to participate. It was not compulsory to participate in a moot court. And uh, I was, I part participated in one moot court competition where all the other competitors belong to the uh, family of uh, senior lawyers in the Supreme Court like uh, Shanti Bhushan and so and so. So I was really hesitant even to talk at that stage. But we've realized that as after becoming a judge also, I've realized that uh, this kind of exposure at the initial stage when you are studying in the colleges will certainly help you when you actually come into the profession. As a judge, what I expect from any person who comes and appears before me is how best he presents his case and whether he projects the case properly or not, and all the issues concerning that particular case represented by him or her are properly stated before the court. The, the brief manner in which the presentation takes place will be the useful way of presenting a case for a judge to understand, particularly having regard to the number of cases pending before any court, number of cases we require to handle, we move from one court to one case to another case within a short period of five minutes. We have to step into a new case and understand the issue involved in the new case. A case, one previous case can be something relating to a family dispute. Next case may be something relating to what you are discussing, a corporate matter. And another case may be something relating to some service matter. So we have to move from one case to another case, one after the other and try to understand the new case presented before us. So when we look at that way, the presentation of the case by the lawyer will certainly help the lawyer in making the judge understand. So therefore the preparation by you in the college learning process in the learning process and participation of such kind of competitions will be useful to you, will be certainly helpful whether you come into the actual profession, practice or you go into the law firms and uh, work in a, in a law firm. Uh, uh, in these, the process, whether you win or lose is not important, but what is important is your participation and then understanding the niceties of how best you can present the case, just to learn, analyze your defects noticed by you, and then give up, concentrate on those deficiencies you encounter. This is how you can improve. I congratulate all those participants in the, in the last two day, two day events. And everyone who participated deserves uh, complimenting them, whether they win or lose. 
because participation is important, not ultimately where the result has come. Today you may have uh, uh, the losing side, but tomorrow in a given case, you may ultimately succeed. So I congratulate all of those who have participated and special congratulations to those who have actually won today. Thank you. Okay, now a moment that all the participants must have been waiting for is the prize distribution and we will now see uh, how you guys have done in our mode code competition. Uh, before that, we would like to thank all of you for participating and as Sir said and as many of our guests and many of us have also said, the the, uh, the fact that all of you have stayed out this long in the participation, the fact that you have participated in such a competition and put yourself out there, it's all very commendable. Now we start with the best memorial. Uh, this best memorial will be presented by Ms. Rama, if you could please do the honors. Yeah, so uh, the best memorial from the side of the informants is we have been calling you TC31 for the past couple of days, but uh, the members of this team are Rhythm Shrimal, Garima Puri, and Menon from SLS Noida. Next we have next we have the best memorial respondents, which which is TC31 as well. So you might want to walk back down those stairs to get your next award. We request Mr. Dilip Okay to present this award to the team. Next, we will have uh, Mr. Mohan Rao Ranaanki present the best speaker of this tournament. So you, for us, our tab team, you have been speaker one of TC30. Is he, are you here? It's Tanishta Ravi. All right. Okay, let's give her a round of applause anyway. Okay, then Sir will be presenting the second best speaker, which is TC50, speaker one, uh, Mohammad Atik Syed. Uh, so the second best speaker is from Gujarat National Law University, and it's Mohammad Atik Syed. Next, 
we will have Mr. Anuj Verma present the best researcher. The best researcher has been conducted through the researcher's test, and I'm pretty sure you must have gone through a lot of late nights with your memorandum as well. The, for us, you've been TC, the researcher of TC2. It's Pranika from NLU Delhi. Are you here? Then we will request sir to present the runners up of the competition. The runners up of the competition are TC12, who are from NLIU Bhopal. Congratulations, guys. So next, uh, we will have the winners announced for Trilegal, the second Nalsa CCI antitrust mode presented by Trilegal. Uh, for this, I would request our moot court committee convener to declare the results. Matlav, on to you. Hello, everyone. I, I think we have had a long competition, and this is the result I think everyone's waiting for. So I won't take any more of your time. Uh, so. To, I'll announce the the winners straight away, and I think we already have a clue who it might be. So, this is a, so the best the the winner of the second edition of the Nalsar CCI Trilegal Presents and CCI uh, Presents Nalsar CCI Antitrust Mood Code Competition is Team Code Number Thirty One. Can we please have a round of applause for them? I would request uh, I would request our honourable Vice Chancellor. Uh, Nisha ma'am uh, uh, from Trilegal and Naveen Rao sir to please come and present the winners award if they could please come. Uh, next, we invite one of our uh, guests, Ms. Rama Bijapurkar, to say a few words to our to the students, to the winners, to the, to all of us over here. I was just telling them that I'm sure you'd all much rather go and have a cup of tea. So congratulations to the winners. Uh, I don't know if it's dominance or in my language we call it high market share. Uh, so depending on which side of the fence you are, that's what it is. Um, 
I'm 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 really very very pleased to be here, and I think this whole uh, data and what's happening to data is something we all need to learn about. Uh, where I come from, data is the new oil. If a business isn't data driven, your costs are going to be too high. You're not going to have the upside. So all of us want data, need data, and. On most boards I sit on, we're now actually at board level reviewing digitalization programs and data programs. Um, the only trouble, as you've all known, is the many shades of gray, and we don't know how to think about it. So the other day I called my bank and I said, um, hey guys, the, the uh, payment app actually called me and said, my credit card was due and why didn't I pay through you? So how did they know are you leaking my data? To which the bank said, no, you probably signed away all your rights when you got on the payment app. And I probably didn't read the fine print. And he said, they're reading your SMS. And that's how they know that your bill is due. So it's nothing to do with us. Now, this is well when it comes to me. So, I mean, there is the whole issue of, you know, dominance. What happens if two people in the world control all the data? There's also the whole issue of privacy. Because I'm ready to sign off a lot of details which I don't know about. So every time on boards we are told we're going to do this, credit appraisal is going to cost less, we're going to get data, we're going to get user data, or we know that so-and-so went from place A to place B and therefore we can actually do car insurance based on travel patterns. We're all a little bit un uncomfortable and we're asking, is this okay, is this kosher, is this legal, uh, is this moral? So I think the whole topic you're looking at is is absolutely bang on it concerns a lot of us and uh, we hope all of you will soon come and guide us uh, very quickly on how to think about things uh, so no i don't have the answers but i think recognizing the question is a large part of uh, of just making sure that we don't do anything we shouldn't be doing so uh, i'm really glad you've had this leading edge discussion on this leading edge topic and congratulations to all of you and look forward to wisdom coming from Gen Next to us, Gen Previous. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for those wonderful words. Uh, it is our pleasure to host you today. Uh, this mood was uh, a very difficult mood to organize given the circumstances. There were several deadlines that needed to be met. COVID was happening. We had, we had to account for several exigencies. And I just want to express our heartfelt uh, gratefulness and thanks to our sponsors, Trilegal. And this mood wouldn't have been possible without the constant su support and nurturing that we got from Trilegal. And we extend our heartiest thanks to Trilegal. With, uh, with that being said, I call upon uh, Ms. Uh, Nisha Ma'am to say a few words about the moot. It's been a pleasure to be here and to see so many students across various colleges. Competition law is not always taught as a compulsory subject. There are some of you who've had that advantage. There are colleges which it's still not been taught at. And both the teams who were in the finals had in fact expressed it. We even had a second year in the finals. So all credit to all of you students that you're able to follow not just law, but economic theories and concepts. And I'm gonna echo what Rama said here. The future is clearly in safe hands. Trilegal has very much enjoyed partnering with Nalsar and the CCI on this moot, and we've also committed to do so for the next five years. So we're really looking forward to working with all of you again. Uh, with now that we've introduced one of our sponsors, we've also been partnering up with the Competition Commission of India. Uh, the Competition Law Regulatory Authority for our country as a whole. And we request uh, Mohan Rao, sir, to talk, address us and give us a few words. Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Honorable P Naveen Rao, sir, and my distinguished panelists here, and all the uh, brilliant students that who have actually taken part of part in this competition and the other students as well. It's a 
very hearty feeling that there's so much of advocacy happening for competition. That's the first thing as Competition Commission of India, we always strive for because it's even though we are in existence for like oh, last 12, 13 years, it's still it appears to be a nascent field in India, though it's over a decade. But ho however, it's as dynamic as the digital markets. Now everywhere it's digital markets, digital markets, but competition law itself is changing so quickly. You can see the bill has been passed and then there are amendments to the bill. And then now, even now it's still debatable that there are some of these clauses in the amendments. So amongst all these, it's, it's very um, fortunate and commendable that the student, students of first year, second year, third year students are actually showing so much interest in participating in these mode competitions. Uh, so from the commission's perspective, I uh, convey my heartiest uh, congratulations and uh, heartful thanks to all the participants and the students who have uh, won the prizes and who have already participated as well. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I know all of us want the ceremony to come to a close, so I will grant your wishes. So now we have our uh, the head of our organizing committee, Ashik Kareem, here to give a vote of thanks to all of those who helped make this offline competition a reality. Uh, as introduced, my name is Ashik Kareem Abdul Malik, and I am a third year law student here at the Nalsa University of Law and I am the head of the organizing committee. I started calling myself the competition director for the past two months since it sounded better, but I am in effect just a student. For those participants who thought I was a professor, I'm not. I am just a student. With that being said, I would like to thank all the OC members and the volunteers individually so as to acknowledge all the efforts that they did since November. The first ever me meeting we had with CCI, uh, with, uh, on, with Anand, Anand um, Prakash Mishra, sir. Uh, since then, it's been a roller coaster ride and Truly, it has been very enjoyable while stressful at the same time. I have learned a lot about managing people and uh, making this mute a reality. And I am glad that I took this up and organized it in the scale that we had today. Since we are, in effect, one of the biggest, actually the biggest mood, uh, antitrust moot code competition, which is what our mission was. We also wanted to make this the fairest moot code competition in the history of moot code competitions. And we th I think we did a very good job in reaching that goal. Our go as, as I mentioned in my opening statement in the inaugural ceremony, our goal has been to make a moot that is fair and rewards a participant for, for their merit and not any other con consideration. At no point will we have deference to any other consideration but your merit, and that's what we are offer at NALSA. With that being said, I will start in alphabetical order, I, I mean in, in the WhatsApp group order of the OC group. First, we have Ashwanshi, a first year. She was in the tabulations team. Then we had Anshul from the fourth year. He's an MCC member as well, along with Ashwanshi. We have, uh, we'll have a final applause so that I can get this over with quickly in the last. Uh, we have Apur Watts from the second year. We have Archita Satish, who was in the design team. We have Mitlov, my uh, moot mentor of sorts in organizing moots. Uh, he's the convener of the moot code committee and has been a constant support for the organizing committee as well. We have Mohit Kala, who's again a fifth year. And again, the, the, the help that both of them did combined is Im immensely like it was required during the last days of the competition. Then the most important uh, OC member in terms of logistics, Aditi Saxena, the treasurer, as well as the head of logistics in the organizing committee. Then we have Ameya Sharma from the design team. We have Anushka Mukherjee from the logistics and accommodation team. We have Anvesha, the head of design from the second year. We have Asta Sagar from the uh, sponsorship and finance team. We have Janvi, the backbone of this competition. Uh, she was a, she's a third year student and, and she was the head of judges. She was single handedly responsible for getting the dignitaries here today and also coordinating with Trilegal at all times. She was our point of contact and she paid the price for it by having certain attendance issues. Uh, then we have Kirtana from the first year, who's been our point of contact with the for participants as well as the uh, college. She was um, very important to the organizing committee. We have uh, Meena, we have Meena Lihor from the TABS team. We have Prasim Patel from the logistics team. Uh, thank you, Prasim. Uh, we have Rahul P, Rahul pa Patria, who's the head of the tabulations team. And we have Runways from the logistics team. We have Stuti, another MCC member in the OC. We have Tasaro Rali, who was in charge of the food uh, in both the CC as well as the uh, as well as inside the courtrooms. And finally, we have sorry, we have Vivek from 
uh, the logistics team who was very who was very important in terms of procurement. And last but definitely not the least, I saved the best for the last. We have Megan Sequera from the second year, who is who had an immense role in making this moot a reality. And uh, with that being said. I thank all the volunteers for taking their time out. You will be rewarded with attendances and extensions and project deadlines. And we will, uh, we can now, I think uh, that's it from my end. I just wanted to thank all the OC members. I want to thank my, um, express a lot of gratefulness to the IT department, specifically Irfan sir, for making uh, all of the courtrooms ready. As you already know, we ensure that each and every round in fr right from the prelims till the finals is recorded. And this was one, uh, one thing is a, it's a sponsor's deliverable, but at the same time, we wanted to make it a fair competition because we can just go back and check that would have been, that would not have been possible without the help of Irfan sir from the, the IT department. We would like to thank our faculty coordinator slash convener, uh, Mr. So Professor Saurabh Bharati, uh, who has been a constant, uh, source of support and guidance and mentorship and. Uh, and again, he, 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 uh, his interest in the moot has helped us make this a reality in the end. And it's been a pleasure organizing. I hope it's been a pleasure um, participating, judging, being the chief guests of. Uh, with that being said, that is, that is it from my end. I pass it on to Janvi. Over. Yeah, so just to add on, we have a lot of thanks that we have to tell. We have to tell a lot of people, but I'm going to cut it short. So we also would like to thank SEC ABC because they have conduct, they have ensured that participants get access to the research facility, the high quality research facilities that they do offer. And they've also sponsored us for a, a lot of the folders and ID cards that you're seeing and ensured that we're actually able to have the, the stationery required for the competition from their side. Like Ashik mentioned, we would also uh, like to uh, thank our support staff. Uh, we would like to thank uh, Mr. Chidambaram. We would like to thank our engineering department, our IT staff. Even at two o'clock in the morning when we rang them up, they were still there to answer our calls and they were not grouchy at all because they understood how much we had run around for the competition metaphorically and literally running around. So uh, we would like to thank the accounts officers for ensuring that all of our payments are made. We have a record of our cash. We would like to thank everybody who made this mode code competition start and end on a brilliant note um so i think right now we are at the closing of the mode code competition i would like to thank everybody once and for all thanks from me thanks to the mode code committee thanks from our college as a whole uh and thanks to our vice chancellor as well because i know the number of permissions we had to take from you and our registrar were numerous and you at this point i feel like i've become a good friend of him because of the number of times I visited his office knocking on his door because I needed one more permission. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much to everyone. And now this is the end of the second Nalsar CCI uh, antitrust moot presented by Trilegal. And now, Ashik. Uh, as I open the competition, they asked me to close it as well. Uh, I'll make the shot this time. I, Ashik, close this moot code competition. Thank you.